Praise the Lord, church. Hallelujah. Prophet Okumbo Abraham Kenneth of the Assembly of Brethren, USA. God bless you once again, child of God. I quickly want to bless a child of God with this prophetic message. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. We know you are God and there is no other God like you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I want to speak to somebody today. I know some people may have experienced what I'm about to talk about. It's the question of where were you? You're going through life. You're going to school. You're raising your family. And you have not been having the type of support that you could have had. And suddenly, certain people start to show up in the middle of all that God has been doing for you. And they want to steal the glory that belongs to God. You want to ask them the question, where were you? Where were you when that woman was homeless? When that woman had no food? Where were you when there was earthquake and there was famine in the land? And there was divination, sorcery, witchcraft. Where were you when the devil and satanic agents attacked our lives? Where were you when we didn't know anybody in America? When God didn't use the people he used to help us? Where were you? Where were you when we were lost, helpless? When we were sick? When we were in the hospital? When we had an accident, where were you? Where were you when things were not going well for us? I have a prophetic message for the church. Your destiny helper will never, never stress you. Anybody that God has assigned to be a blessing to you, once they see you, the connection between you and them will spark a fire and they know what they have to do for you. Uh, when people want to help you certain times, certain people, when they want to help you, they want you to go and climb Mount Kilimanjaro first. They say they are testing you. They want you to go and cross the highway with your eyes closed. That they are testing you. They want you to close your eyes and cross and cross the highway and cross the byway before they can give you what they promise to give you. Do not let people molest you spiritually. Do not let people disrespect you physically, spiritually, financially, emotionally, psychologically too. Don't let them disrespect you. Um, I didn't know you from anywhere right i just suddenly met you you heard that i'm a prophet of god and suddenly you took interest in my life and you start to monitor me with the intention to control me with the intention to have authority over the gift of god upon my life and when god refuses for you to do that you become offended the big question for you tonight, you agents of darkness, you demonic spirits, you powers of the underworld, where were you when God was dealing with me the whole time? Where were you? May God preserve the life of the righteous in the land. May God help you and your family not to sell your birthright, not to give the glory that belongs to God to an agent of darkness. Amen and amen.